So hello, Ederson Oliver here on this video review of DN9. I'll be talking about the admin logs, which is located under manage and then admin logs. On DN8, this is located under admin and it's called event viewer. The view itself in the data is very similar to the ones you can find on DNN8 and DNN7. For those that don't know what the event log is, is a place where you can track events on your DNN website. Things from user login to errors on the site to application restarts to executing SQL Server queries. Various, various events can be tracked with the admin log, the old event viewer and you can actually set up which events you want to keep track and which ones you don't want to keep track. The functionality itself did not change much at all, but let's start to compare here what we find on DNN 8 and 7 and what is present on DNN 9. So very much the same way as you do on DNN 8, on DNN 9, you can select any entry, you can click, you can see more details. It expands a little bit and you see more details available there. That's pretty much it. The same, the same way as you do on DNN 8. A small difference though, just because I want to be picky here, is the drop down of results. There's just 10 and 25 and DNN 8, it has a few more options, but maybe this is just early stages of, of DNN 9 and this will be uh, expanded to have more, more or less results. If you go top to bottom here, you can see the some of the buttons that used to be at the very bottom of DNN8. So delete selected entries, clear log, and edit log settings. You can see them at the top. Now, one difference here is that edit log settings, it pops up on DNN8, the list of different events that can be tracked. And on DNN9, you actually have a new tab at the top that you can just flip, you saw the loading bar at the top, just loading this view. And you can see all the different log types listed down here instead of going to a pop-up like this one. So some of the actions, they they were moved from the bottom to the top, not much of a difference there, but again, much uh, a, a much faster interface overall. So let's go back here to admin logs. Let's have a look at the top. See here, let's return. Again, you see a lot of refreshing here. You can see the deleted selected entries, delete, and you can see delete selected entries here as well. You can just select them. You can select all, select all. You can clear log. This will clear, this will delete all the event log. The same thing here, you have, del you have clear log. But here you have this button, this link here that says email selected. So you can select some events and you may want to send that to someone that might be able to provide some insight, some help on those particular events. You can put the email address, subject, message, and it will send an email. Here, there is a way to do that, I think. Yes, there is, and you just have to select, and then you can click send log entries. You can fill out the information, the same information that is asked here, but in a slightly different um, style. Going back to the top here on the NN8, you can select a particular website that you want to check if you are logged in as super user. So it will filter. You see uh, uh, there is a, a, a blink that happens here. There's not, it's not a full refresh, but it does a partial, I think it does a partial refresh here on DNN8. If we go back here to DNN9 and we try to do the same type of filtering, you see there's no refresh, there's no blink, there is a, a loading bar that goes across the top, but as you can see, much faster, much slicker and avoids the ugly blipping. The other improvement is with the, the page in itself. If you click on different pages, it see again there's no blinking it goes you see the loading bar at the top but that's pretty much it if you see that on dnn8 and then you can you click you you actually have a full page refresh so again one more advantage one more improvement on the admin log of dnn9 which is the actual paging and i i'm, I'm pretty sure that this style of paging will go across any module that displays a lot of data on the admin side, there's no 
refresh, there's no post back, there's no full page refresh anymore. Now I want to go back here to the top, go to the log settings and you can actually add a new log entry here. Now the number of entries, the number of log types that exist on DNA9 and DNA8 is exactly the same, 121 at this point. One thing that I was not very sure about is what is add log setting, which is available on DNA8 as well. There's nothing, nothing new here. If we click on edit log settings, you can also add log setting here. I think that you can create particular login types and, and do that based on certain websites. You just want to do for one website, not for the other one. So it does apply to one, but applies to the other one. So you can select that. And that's how, that's why you have the add log settings. But my point is to show that it, when you click on add, it just pulls down a, a view a screen very quickly. There's no refreshing. You can save and cancel here. You can do the same thing. You can edit any one of the existing log types. You can just click on the edit button, loads a little bit at the top, you see, and the information comes below. All this information, all those settings here are very much the same as on DNN 8. And you can, of course, delete, cancel, or save whatever you are changing here. So that's it. Event Viewer has been renamed to Admin Logs and it is available on DNN 9. Functionality in general has not changed much, but of course, there is a big revamp of the UI. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.